Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I'll be showing you how to obtain the default vanilla world gen files, such as the files for the default overworld and default overworld biomes, as well as things like features and carvers and structure features. Just everything like that, which is really useful for anyone who is doing any world gen related stuff. And I use this in basically every single one of my videos. So the first thing that you can do to download the vanilla world gen files is to go to any video in my custom dimension tutorials playlist, uh, including the one that you are currently watching, and then going down to the description, uh, you're, you're going to have to show more of the description, uh, finding the link that says download Slave Slime's Vanilla World Gen Default's most recent version, and then clicking on that link. Um, and that link will instantly download the latest version of Vanilla World Gen. However, that is probably not the link that you're going to want to use. You're probably going to want to go to this link, the list of Slice Slime's Vanilla World Gen defaults, because uh, the most recent version of Slice Slime's pack, well, at this moment, is for a 1.18 snapshot, and that is not going to be fully compatible with the 1.17 versions. So if you want to download a specific version of the vanilla world gen default folder you're going to want to click on this google doc link which will take you to a google doc that i have compiled that includes every single version for the vanilla world gen files so for example if you click on 21w07a it will give you this link if you click on this link it will download the vanilla world gen file for exactly the snapshot 21w07a this one is for 1.17 and this one's for 1.17.1 right here. And then if you want to make a data pack for 1.16, then you can use this link right here. But that is how to download the pack from my channel. You can also just download it directly from Slice Slime. So if I look up uh, Slice Slime GitHub, it's gonna come up with Slice Slime's GitHub. Um, and then here, if you click on examples, that will take you to the vanilla world gen folder. So if you click on the vanilla world gen dot zip and then click view raw, it will download the latest version. However, if you want to download an older version, like I just showed that you can do through that Google doc, you can go back to examples and then you need to click on the 38 commits right here. It'll be a different number probably. Um, and then using that, you should be able to find every version here. And say that you want to download the version for 1.17.1, that would be the same as the latest 1.17.1 snapshot, which is 1.17.1 pre-2. So then you would click on this symbol right here, and so that will take you to the version of the vanilla world gen file for 1.17.1 you can just click on that and then click view raw and that will instantly download the 1.17.1 version of the vanilla world gen file so this right here this file but it's on my desktop i just took it out of my downloads folder and put it on my desktop just so it's easier to see um this is the 1.17.1 version that i just downloaded i'm going to use winrar to extract it so Extract to vanilla world gen. That's just going to do this for a second. Uh, then I'm going to have this open folder right here. And that is how you access the files inside, of course. So once you have these files, you've got uh, the dimension files, which are going to be helpful for if you're making a custom dimension. For example, if I edit the overworld dimension with Notepad++, that's just going to give you all the default code um, that's in the overworld dimension file. So if you want to make a dimension just like the overworld, you can use the code in here. And same with the other two dimensions, you've got the default dimension type files. And again, that's just for dimension type. I, I went over both of these in my first uh, dimension video. And then in world gen, of course, you have all of the biome files for the default biomes and then all of the carver files and then 
configured feature, structure feature, surface builder, noise settings, processor list, and template pool. All the things that you're going to use for vanilla world gen. So overall, this is just a really useful file to have. I use it in most of my videos, and I reference it in most of my videos. So if you did not know how to access this file, uh, that's how you access it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, or if you have anything that you want me to talk about in future videos, you can let me know in the comments, or you can join my Discord server, which is linked in the description, and I can help you there as well. Thank you guys again for 550 subscribers. I have about 570 now as I'm recording this video, and it might be 575 before this is posted, but I'd be happy to have no subscribers if I could help even one person, and that is what I created this channel for. Again, thank you guys so much, and thanks for watching.